Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about solving this differential equation. I actually been thinking about making a series for differential equations, but I actually have not gotten the time to do that. And now it's getting closer to summer, so I have more time. And uh, so right now we are going to start by solving uh, one of the simplest type of differential equation. This is called a separable equation. Why do we call it separable? Because we can actually write it in a form like this. So let's just recall that for a separable equation, if we can write the equation as an expression of y and then dy equals an expression involving x and then dx, then we call this a separable equation. And it just happens that we can do that for this equation. So let's actually try that and see what's going on. So first we are going to uh, multiply both sides by y square. Okay, so we can multiply both sides by y square. And actually let me use a different color here. So multiply both sides y by y square here and then you can see that the y square will cancel. Okay, so we are going to get uh, y square dy dx and then equals and then the y square is a cancel so we're going to get the 3x here okay and then next step is that we can actually get the dx on this side by multiplying both sides by dx and then you, you can see that simply the dx will cancel on the left side and then we just have the dx on the right side so we actually will just get y square dy and then equals and then dx i mean 3x and then dx okay so we have this now you can see that this it's in this form so what can we do right now we can actually integrate both sides and how do we do that well we will just put an integral symbol here so we integrate both sides and then so if we are integrating both sides then we can simply just integrate uh the y square y square will give us what one third y to the third power Okay, so we are going to, well, let's just continue from here. So we get 1 over 3 y square. Okay, I mean y cube, because we actually need the, the third power, right? And then what do we get on the, uh, the right hand side of the equation? So what happened is that we are going to integrate the 3x, which will give us 3 over 2, and then x square and then plus k, right? Now, there was one thing that I want to point out here is that when we're integrating the left side of the equation, we are also supposed to be getting a constant here, but then um, we can move it to the right hand side and then that can be combined with this constant here. So we only would be putting just the constant on the right side to just to simplify the work, okay? And then next step is that what do we do here we are going to try to isolate y if it's possible sometimes it's not possible then we will not do it but here because it's possible so we can actually try to isolate the y here what do we do we can uh, multiply everything by three okay so multiply everything by three then we are going to get uh, y cubed is equal to because we multiply by three the one third is gone multiply three over two by three Okay, and then um, so we multiply by three, multiply by three, multiply by three. So this is more visual if I just put it at the top, right? So multiply by three, then what do we get here? Nine over two, so we get nine over two. And then x squared, and then plus, and then the k times three, we get three k. And we are almost done. All we need to do is to uh, take the cube root of both sides to give it this cube. Okay, so we can do that. Take the cube root. And see that the 3k must also be inside the radical, right? That's one thing that's important. And then we are going to get y equals, and then what do we have here? We get 9 over 2 x squared plus 3k and then raised to the one third power. Okay, and then we are finished because we have the y isolated here. Um, to simplify the answer even more, you can simply just rewrite this 3k, okay, into um, a c so that we can actually write it as 9 over 2. Oh, actually, I should really keep the y as well, right? So, so you get y equals and then 9 over 2 x squared plus c to the one third, where 
the c is equal to the 3k. And so you know that there are different constants. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.